you know, we are anticipating that there will be addition of po uh, additional positive tests. Florida is now under a public health emergency after two people in Tampa Bay tested positive for the coronavirus. Welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Rachel Boyd. And I'm Peyton Cairo. Let's get straight to the newsroom, where reporter Christian Minus explains what Governor Ron DeSantis had to say at today's press conference. The governor was joined by a huge group of officials today, including the state surgeon general, lieutenant governor, Tampa's mayor, a senator, and the Hillsborough County Sheriff. He addressed a packed room at the Florida Department of Health and Laboratory on a USF Tampa campus. The public health emergency ensures that health care providers, hospitals, and labs immediately report all suspected cases to the Department of Health. DeSantis said that the patients who have tested positive for the coronavirus are from Hillsborough and Manatee counties. They'll be isolated until they're cleared by health care professionals. 23 people have been tested so far in the state of Florida. An additional 184 people are being monitored. The Florida Department of Health says that the threat to the public is still low, but everyone should take extra precaution. Make sure you're thoroughly washing your hands and stay home if you're feeling sick. Reporting Florida Focus, I'm Christian Minus. We just found out from health officials that six people in America have now died from the coronavirus. A local couple will have to stay quarantined in Texas tonight. Phil and Gay Quarter were hoping to come home, but we just found out their return will be delayed. They've been quarantined for nearly a month since someone on their cruise ship tested positive for the coronavirus. Early voting is now underway in Hillsborough and Polk County, but some candidates on the ballot are no longer in the race. That's why some officials are urging voters to beware of voting too early. Tomorrow is Super Tuesday with 14 state primaries, including Texas and California. The results could prompt more candidates to drop out of the race. You can find voting locations and times at your local supervisor of elections office. Early voting will be available through the next couple of weeks. Today is the start of the Great American Beach Cleanup in St. Petersburg. Volunteers collected over 100,000 pounds of litter on Pinellas County beaches in 2018. According to the Ocean Crusaders organization, over 5 trillion pieces of plastic debris are found in the water across the world. 100,000 animals are found dead and tangled in plastic each year. The Keep Pinellas Beautiful organization will be cleaning beaches through June. That's all we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.